Hi, I'm Oscar. I've been a member of the Kootenai screen-based industry workers since March 2020. I started when I was like in high school. Uh, I was running a club called LVTV at LV Rogers, uh, which is a like news broadcast. Um, so we broadcast the school like announcements, like as opposed to over a PA, it's up on YouTube, uh, green screens and graphics and things like that. I've now mo kind of moved on from that. I've graduated. I graduated in 2023. I. Um, just finished my first year of university at Capilano University for film. And I'm back in Nelson teaching uh, Selkirk's Film Camp for my first time doing this. It's, it's a lot of fun. I love teaching and I just like talking about film, but teaching it's really awesome. And when kids are excited and having a good time, it's, it's kind of the dream. When you ask a kid, hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? I think so often it's influenced by the people around them. One of my close family friends is a guy named uh, Bill Heath and his brother Dave Heath. And they're both, both very well published and successful filmmaker, filmmaker and photographer. And that, and that was a, like a super cool thing to grow up with of like, hey, this is doable. You can work in film. A lot of people want whatever their dad's job is or whatever their mom's job is. Just having those people around you, you, you become aware of film, not only just as a entertainment medium, you know, kids watch movies, obviously, but you understand it as a, a legitimate industry and a art form. I think my first big experience in with film in Nelson professionally was uh, with Amy Bohegan's Queering the Interior documentary, which was really awesome. Uh, I was a PA and did a little bit of editing assistant stuff. And that was a really cool learning experience because it was kind of my first time stepping out of just doing stuff for fun. Like, okay, you know, this is a, we have an interview subject who's giving us their time, and you know, we have to use that efficiently. And this is a nice camera and a nice microphone and nice lights, and on this same background that I sit on right now. So it's interesting to be on this side of the camera. I think Nelson's really cool in that. People do a lot of really awesome projects and do a lot of cool things and make beautiful films with like much more limited resources. You know, if you're somewhere like Vancouver, there's sound stages, there's editing suites, there's, you know, sound mixing suites. You have all these resources, rental houses right at your t fingertips. The community of Nelson and on the broader scale was amazing, but also on the smaller scale of, you know, things like workshops and like meet and greet things and things like that. And it's kind of this wonderful little like ecosystem that I kind of get to be a part of that I can then go out into the wider world and bring back more skills and, you know, bring back more talent and get people like meet people outside of the Kootenays who maybe they want to come work on some stuff in, in Nelson. Being someone within Nelson that can contribute, I think, is really important. And I think if everyone who calls themselves a Kootenai screen-based industry worker can do that, then we're going to be able to make some you know, like incredible films and you know learn from each other and build our own community as opposed to just everyone goes and works in Vancouver or everyone goes and works in Calgary or L.A. And it's not bad to go out and, you know, into the wider world and work on projects, but it's amazing if we can make those projects here. I think I was six years old. No, I think I was seven. Um, Free Ride Entertainment um, was shooting for a film called On Any Sunday, The Next Chapter, which was a dirt biking and motorcycle documentary um, that was Red Bull was producing. And even, you know, with all this Red Bull money behind it and you know, what I would still would consider like big leagues of film. It was three guys and a camera came to my house and shot for a little bit and, you know. So that's, that's again, kind of the nice thing is my dad already knew those guys, you know. My dad's not a film professional, he's a ski guide, but he still just knows, uh, you know, some of the, some very successful film people in Nelson just on virtue of it being a small town. I really, I really enjoy like action sports and action sports photography and film is kind of where I draw so much inspiration. Stuff that's really impressive visually is, is a big one for me and like 
crisp and you can kind of feel whatever the environment is. That's a big one for me. It's like, oh, you can feel the cold or the wind or the, you know, like all these things. Is, that's what I try to convey. And so I think for projects that I want to make, I want to make that stuff. I want to make stuff that people feel. And I think you see that in all kinds of film. I think, you know, all art comes from emotion and all art comes from its creator's thoughts and feelings. But I like being able to share those feelings and really be able to communicate that through a camera. <laughs>